Hey guys, thanks for checking out another first play from the guys here at NGP Podcast. Uh, this is Kenny. We are coming at you with some Might and Magic 7 for Blood and Honor gameplay. Uh, I'm familiar with Might and Magic 6, played a lot of it uh, when I was younger, and so was excited to get to play another title in the game. I'm a little worried about how the guys are going to take this game. It's old in some ways and shows, but has potential to be loads of fun. So, um, yeah, let's just jump in. You can see I've already created a party. There's tons of ways to do this, tons of ways to play this game, and really pick your preference. Um, I wanted kind of high-powered damage output and just lots of versatility early on so I can, I don't know, have some fun with it. So went with a sorcerer-heavy party with a paladin to kind of keep us healed up and take some damage hopefully i don't know it's been long enough since i've played this game to really forget what's worth it and what's not so we're jumping in and my party of new game plus members are gonna find out what might magic 7 has in store for us so uh, create your own party spend some time doing that it'll definitely take a little while don't miss the cutscene. Often we include those in this first play, but uh, we're going to just jump in and see the game a little bit together. Ooh, there's another cutscene that, if it looks like it's not too long, I will give you. Bloody sword. Generic note. Hear ye, hear ye. The Emerald Island scavenger hunt is about to begin. The list of objects has been given to all contestants. As you know, the winners of the contest will be awarded title to Castle Harmony and the surrounding lands. Be careful. Emerald Island can be dangerous. Uh-oh. Last night, three contestants disappeared, and we are concerned for their safety. During the contest, please be on the lookout for our missing contestants. If you find a piece of equipment in the woods, return at once with the clue. It may save their lives. In rumors that some kind of monster is loose on the island and uh -oh. may be hiding in one of the caves. If you see a cave you are unfamiliar with, don't go into it. Send someone back to town and the guards will conduct a search for you. We don't want anyone else to get hurt. And oh, no. one more thing. The cave's right behind us. <clears throat> uh, we have... Uh... <laughs> Sorry. Uh, we have reports that the monster may be a dragon. If you see it... Run for your lives. <laughs> oh, we see what happened to them. Oh, that was a rough loading screen. Okay. Well, here we go. Old school graphics and some NPCs. And holy cow, and terrible amount of inputs. I may need to fix some of this before we go on. Um... I was thinking mouse and keyboard, but we may be talking keyboard and keyboard here. Uh, uh, yeah, this is almost unplayable as it is. Let me see if I can't fix some settings, which if it takes a while, it just gets to be part of our first play experience. And if not, it's, uh, we'll just cut this out. So, wow. Well, welcome back. Now that I got my keyboard situation worked out, let's figure out what's going on. We're on an island, and now we have a guide. Uh, I probably ought to leave her tour on for now, just because she might tell me something important. Greetings and salutations to you. Okay. I found some food in the fire. Let's go see. Okay. Let's go see if we can get back up on this boat. Or at least who's on here. Good luck in the contest. Okay, so as the cutscene uh, implied, and now we're seeing, we are probably. Sorry for this mouse. I thought really that I was going to be using kind of mouse and keyboard, and so it maybe has been obnoxious and right in your face. I don't think I'm going to need it even to see anything, so I'm going to just kind of pull it off of the screen. Greetings and, and salutations to you! Uh, okay. 
Okay, I don't want to hire an NPC yet. His Grace, Lord Markham, Duke of the Western Lowlands. All right. Also, oh, we found an important person. This is the guy that's providing the prize for this contest. Let's see what he has to say. If you win, you get some land and it's pretty. Keep in mind that I have a thousand gold reward for the group to bring back information on the contestants that have disappeared. So I might need to go to that cave. That sounds fun. Let's see what this guy says. Greetings. All right, my duty is to verify that you have all the items necessary to win the contest. You're required to bring a red potion, a longbow, a floor tile from the Temple of the Moon, a wealthy hat, seashell, and an instrument to me. You can bring them in any order, just show them to me one at a time so that I may verify them. Okay, uh, one more time for my brain. Red potion, longbow, floor tile, hat, seashell, instrument. Well, we'll be on the lookout for those things. Oh, some inventory screen. Uh, stats, skills, I don't have levels up yet. Let's go ahead and equip some things. Uh, some starting spells that I think may be like Terrific! This. I've got a new- Hey, this should be useful! is going to be useful. Wait, didn't he want a piece of jewelry? Perfect. Let's make more. Let's see if one of these is worthless. Fire resistance. Ah, new spell. Interesting. So a lot of this, obviously, Excellent. if you weren't familiar with the game, you wouldn't know how to do. Some of it's Great. intuitive, some of it really isn't, but... When can I use it? You can figure it out relatively easily. And hopefully, me give it to him. Fire resistance, just a generic ring. Cool. Uh, who is it that we made our merchant? It's the person I'm going to want to have talking anytime we do interactions with people. I think it was Dustin. Oh, yeah, it was Dustin. Look at that. His Grace, Lord Markham, Duke of the Western Lowlands. Oh. Uh okay. He took uh he took one item from us, but not the others. So there's a lot to explore. This is pretty open world, uh, which makes it a little frantic for me to have any kind of semblance of order to this first play. So forgive me as I just kind of wander around and get my bearings, but we'll hopefully go at least get to a point where we can maybe do an initial dungeon or level up or something to kind of give you a sense of the, the way it flows. Okay, let's see if this works. Oh, sounds like there's enemies somewhere. Often in the wilderness there are. Oh, there's one. Yep, that did work. Lose body. Oh, oh, there's more. Oh, there's a lot more. Cast some spells. I'm not run into town. Oh goodness, this is bad. I got a lot more of those guys than I realized. It's just a flesh wound. Heal me. Oh, we probably better run. Is that supposed to hurt? It doesn't even hurt. I don't know what the button run button is. This is bad, guys. Maybe there's some NPCs in town that'll help us fight. So I don't want to accidentally kill them, which you can do. My guys are taking some serious damage. Okay, hey! We survived, no one died. Uh, I'll loot some stuff. I didn't accidentally kill anybody. Ooh, hey! I don't remember who our alchemist was. I think there. Don't even know what that is.
Okay, well that's how combat works. You uh, can either fight, like literally with your fists, if you've got melee stuff equipped, um, and depending on your equipment and everything else, like normal, where you can cast spells or shoot long range things with your uh, with your button. I do think come there's going to be lots in. of need for key rebindings or for figuring out exactly what they want. Um, Enjoy your stay. Let's go ahead and sleep because obviously I took a lot of damage. Yeah, considering the inn is like six gold and each of these that I pick up is worth that or more, it's not super inefficient to just, uh, at this point, get some money by kind of grinding out killing these things. Are those town members? Oh, I need to be more careful about not bringing those into town. This game is definitely pretty open world. Some of this stuff resets, but like... If, um, if people die, they die. Oh, come in, come <laughs> Cast in. Casting spells. Enjoy your stay. All right, I'll try and keep that mouse out of the way when I'm not actually needing to click on things. It's real habit to like aim with it, but in this case, that's not what's going on. I'm only using it to like interact with stuff. Oh, I need to cast that spell again. Uh, there we go. Let's go do some work over here. Oh, I grabbed a whole big group of them. Run away! That's just a scratch. Here's the deal. The further you get into the game, and the more you understand what's going on, there really are some, uh... Was supposed to hurt? It doesn't even hurt. Oh, she took a hit. <laughs> some Was fun elements about it. But as I'm sitting here trying to Ow. picture the other guys play this game, especially fairly to blind... Ow. Was too oh, easy. did I just kill that peasant? Ow. I may have. The town may turn on me now. Ow. You guys may Was see me die to, to dragonflies early on. Oh, is that a guard? Is that a guard coming for me? Oh, no. Okay. Guys, sorry I brought this horde of enemies. It doesn't, even hurt. it doesn't even hurt. It does hurt a little, though. Alright, I obviously could have set this party up better. Don't worry. Punching him to death. And I died. Though you have been defeated, death is not your fate today. Oh, well, Return that's nice. Return now to the land of the living. You have much work still to do. Okay, well, apparently fate lets me cheat death. There's some kind of somewhat serious cost there, I think, to your experience or your money or something. Oh, yeah, your your gold is wiped out. So there's a bank system where you can put gold as you make it. That way, if you die, you don't lose it. And I think there's some other costs to death as well. It really is a good amount of complexity. Probably not an RPG that's for everybody, but if you can handle the interface get used to the look and immerse yourself in the world there's actually kind of some fun quests that go on and interesting stories your characters learn some cool new things and i don't know maybe it's nostalgia talking but i certainly enjoy the, the older version of the game i don't know what happens in this one um enough that i'm gonna be playing a good good amount this week so um hope you enjoyed a good first taste as i jumped in and utterly failed of might and magic 7 and uh, we'll catch you guys on the next podcast. Have a good one.